Hi, this is David with eminitradingstrategies.com. This is the weekly video update for March 1st through March 5th, 2010. I'd like to thank everybody for coming to the webinar last night. We do have that webinar recorded. If you'd like to see a copy of that webinar, uh, feel free to email us um, either at david at eminitradingstrategies.com or get in touch with al at eminitradingstrategies.com and we'll be happy to send you the link to the webinar. We're only going to keep that up for about a week because the specials that are attached to that webinar will be expiring so you got about a week to get in if you haven't seen the webinar. In any event, if you did see the webinar, you're going to see a lot of the same charts as you did as you're going to see right now that were on the webinar with the exception of Friday's chart. Okay, We had a really good week trading the S&P and the Dow. We pretty much had the potential to make one and dones all week long on the S and P. I say the potential because some of us did or did not make one and ones, uh, one and dones. Okay. In fact, this week I only had two days where I got one and dones. Friday, today, which is the day I'm producing the video, of course, um, my trading computer is something was wrong and I'm was having a lot of data issues and I was not getting accurate trades so I ended up trading later into the day I ended up being fun though so we'll talk about that too so March 1st this is Monday we had the potential one and done for a pullback trade okay it was a great pullback it was a winner I was taking EETs and I lost and why did I take an EET well we're coming out of no zone here that's what this back coloring is and the NSC that follows no zone has a higher probability chance of winning and that NSC that didn't happen would have been a short so I like to catch the EET which is an early entry technique so if it runs down I make a nice profit really quick well that didn't happen and EET is more aggressive the trend was up the pullback goes with the trend the guys that got the pullback at the one and done okay let me show you one more screenshot of Monday which is where I recovered here's an example of the same thing this is just a continuation of the last chart we come out of no zone and that first NSC which is short was a nice winner okay so I recovered on these trades right here made my profit okay I get a little note here sometimes our rules don't always work okay you see there's a lot of pullback cancellations here okay these are our rules okay here's a the opportunity okay or I should say example where the pullback trade canceled Okay, this would have been a long pullback. It canceled because the probability of it going back up has gone down. So, and sure enough, it would have been a losing trade. Well, sometimes they cancel, and this is, you know, we have a new short NSE, so the pullback goes in the same direction. Sometimes the cancels don't work. You know, they close, they keep you out of a trade and they end up winning. But that's okay because sometimes you're going to take, you're going to, not take losing trades by following the rules and that's what it's all about and sometimes following the rules you're going to still take losing trades and that's okay the goal is to follow the rules okay let's move on to Tuesday um, again one and done we love coming out of no zone first trade boom one and done I took the pullback trade uh, hindsight 2020 not exactly sure why I took the pullback trade we opened up kind of sideways it dropped down I just grabbed the pullback trade thought the market was going to go down still a valid trade but the NSC was a stronger potential of a winner and most of my students got the one and done okay another uh, March 2nd chart just to show you coming out of no zone okay that first NSC beautiful winner okay another NSC winner that's where I made all my recovery at let's look at March 3rd one and done trade there I actually caught that one Yesterday, March 4th, I caught the one and done. And today, March 5th, there, here's, this is where the one and done was. There's either a pullback trade you might have had short, okay, or a NSC that was one and done. Well, my data was off, and I had a couple of NSCs in here that I took and got beat up on a little bit and ended up trading until later in the day. I left for a couple hours to go to lunch and do this and do that and came back later, took an NSE out of no zone. I you don't see the no zone but it's over here. At nice NSE here, grabbed eight ticks off of that. Then I took a pullback trade all the way to the four o'clock closing bell and made my profit about well it was the the mercantile was still open, but the um 
New York closes at 4 o'clock, end up closing out around right here, just a little bit after the closing bell. So I ended up making money today, but it, and it was actually fun in the trading room because guys were, you know, kind of rooting me on, and it was actually kind of fun. So good week trading the S&P. Let's go ahead really quick and talk about the Dow. We're really getting low on time. Uh, March 1st, we had a choppy open, but we had some real nice trades after the fact. I'm going to have to really go through really quick here. March 2nd, some really good trades. You know, trading the Dow, is, to me, is like trading just the S&P, but it's trends better. Okay, so, you know, you could take a lot of these trades and have some really good days. You know, you make 15, 20 ticks and you know, maybe 10, 15 ticks. You lose on this one, maybe make 20, 25 ticks. You can have some really good days if you trade all day and make 40, 50, 60 ticks, but then you're going to take some losers too. I personally try to get 10 to 20 ticks a day on the Dow, and I routinely do that, okay? So just along here, this was a short, this is pre-market, this is a short trade, it was a losing trade, followed by a full recovery trade, and then another nice short trade. Uh, this was yesterday. This was the, uh, there was a report right here, so there was no, I don't trade reports, even though it was a nice one and we didn't take it, we had a nice trade right there. And, um, well, now this is the long term on March 1st, we had a short term. I'm sorry, this is the long term. We had a short trade that was an obvious loser, and we had a nice recovery trade. You know what? Unfortunately, we're out of time, so I'm not going to be able to show you the rest of the charts, but I post the results on my blog. Uh, again, if you want to get a recording of the webinar, please get in touch with us, but i got to go ahead and cut off the video as we are low on time. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.